Vedanka stands for Exhibition of Achievements of the National Economy. It was constructed in 1930s and created to showcase the achievement of Soviet Union. The grand opening took place on August 1939. This is the main entrance. A statue of worker and collective farm girl holding a wheat is erected on the top of the entrance. This magnificent park in the north of Moscow features more than 250 Soviet era palaces, pavilions, arches and fountains. So this is the first building of the park which is called Central Pavilion and they are doing some maintenance work here. Moving forward you will see the beautiful botanic garden on your left. the famous friendship of people found in unfortunately it's not operational at the moment however you can see 16 different women here each sculpture represent the different country of soviet union like ukraine belarus Uzbekistan, and so on there are about 400 buildings in vedinka each building here has such a unique architecture and different functions it's raining right now, weather at Moscow is really crazy, rain starts all of a sudden. This is called a stone flower fountain and it's right in front of Ukraine pavilion. Unfortunately, it's also not working today. Now this is the space pavilion. It has all the achievements Soviet Union had in a space race when they were competing with the United States. This is the replica of Vostok rocket in which Yuri Gagarin, the first man on a space traveled in 1961. Finally, at least these fountains are working today. Woohoo! Well, the building behind these fountains called Moscovarium or Moscow Oceanarium. It has 80 aquariums and 8000 species of sea creature from all over the world. Thanks to my Russian friends who suggested me to visit this place. If you are planning to visit this place too, you can reach here by Vodinka subway station or Moscow monorail. That's all for today. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.